Yo, what is going on with it once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and as always, Otakos and Inky Kamonis out there, this is Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Mini Wolverine. Of course, you guys are rest interest and on the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all the good stuff. <laughs> and I uh, asked before to begin, I've said it a million, probably a billion times, if you've probably been on this channel for a while, if you've been subscribed to me for a while, all my older viewers and subscribers, you know what's up. Uh, you know, as much as I do like some of the Nintendo stuff that they do, like the business marketing stuff, it could be a little murky. It's probably extremely crappy and shitty half the time, but, and again, they are a business um, collaboration organization, too, besides providing entertainment for so many freaking years. Even way back in Japan, that was like 1895 or 1896 was when they first started, and they started out as a game card company or something like that. I don't know, or some real super old comics com um, company in the early 1900s. I don't know. Anyways, I'm still taking a few drinks here. Um, ah, man, the second bit of news is a lot more stupider than the first one. Even though, granted, I've always said a million times I've never been an Animal Crossing, I never will be. It's, fortunately, it's not my cup of tea. It's just a boring-ass fucking game. I just never really cared about it. I'm not really in that many simulators, as the younger kids like to say nowadays, the Sims. To say that in my second my year in my 30s, so. <laughs> uh, I can say, oh, these younger fucking kids nowadays have no idea what video games are and shit. Sorry to sound like that old bastard, but I have to, man. Nobody else sounds like that? Fuck it. It is what it is. And there's probably a few like me out there to sound like that, too, but it is what it is. I've been around gaming and anime for as long as I've been around from that. Anyways. Thanks to description box, button down below to all 3D things. Not just Nintendo news. A little bit of new DLC Season 4 pass. For Apex Legends, I've been about a year and a half, two years. Last time I even talked about Apex Legends. Sorry if you hear the outside of the window. It's extremely windy as fuck out here. It's like 60 or 80 miles wind. Extremely fucking strong ass wind today. So, here in the background, I apologize. So, I'm not sure where this comes from. It comes from Nintendo.com Australia, I guess. It's from their official site. I think this is from Nintendo of America, so I found it on Twitter. And the other one was from Nintendo Life. So, links down below to all three of these articles. And here we go. So it says, Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing New Horizons Edition, available March 20th. This limited edition Nintendo Switch consoles is a perfect way to start your new line and new life. And the Joy-Con control strap software sold separately. Two specially themed carrying cases will also be available for March 20th. Head to the island with style. It's from the Australian version, so... Ah, oh, man, it's just all this stuff. I'm only going to read half of this shit. I'm not going to read the whole fucking thing. I know there is a brand new fucking... Um, Customly designed, like it's probably gonna be three, four hundred dollars for the whole console, like it usually is for the Switch. This official Animal Crossing thing, like they did last for Pokemon Sword and Shield, they did that for the Animal Crossing fans. So this, that one's probably gonna sell very fucking quickly, probably like two, three days before that thing goes completely sold out. And Tons gonna have to make more, unless they do limited stuff like they always do. They've been doing that for even before 2010, probably since the 90s and 2000s, way back when, before and after internet was around. Let's move on. So it says, if the hustle and bustle of the modern life's got you down, Tom Nuke has a business venture up his sleeve. So the old door is brand new, ultra exclusive. Nuke deserted island getaway package. Sure, you've crossed paths with other colorful characters near and far. Have a grand old time with the old city folk, or one of the city folk. May even turn over a new leaf and dedicate yourself to a public service. I wanted that's that 3DS, 2DS game that they were talking about way back in notes when it sounds. I know there was a new leaf city. It came out a long time ago. I still didn't give a crap about it back then. Like I did like 9, 10 years ago. Still don't know. But yeah, let's move on. <laughs> this is just like a whole little, little advertisement prompt thing, but I still want to read it anyways. It sounds funny as fuck. But deep down inside, isn't there a part of you that just longs for freedom? A chance to do what you want when you want. Then perhaps take a long walk to the beach of a deserted island where a rich and wealth of untouchables, excuse me, untouched natures await. It's just what the doctor ordered. Peaceful creativity and any charm awaits you to roll up your sleeves and make new whatever you want it to be. Collect resourceful and craft everything in the comforts of the handy tool. Embrace your green thumb and interact with the flowers, trees in a new way. Set up a new homestead <clears throat> where the rules of what goes down <laughs> what goes down indoors and no outdoors no longer apply. Make friends with new rivals. Or rivals, not rivals. A season pole vault across rivers as you explore more. 
I think this is something that people are extremely pissed off about. You're only able to make one island on a Switch, even if you have a second or third. Or you can make 100 fucking accounts. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to... Um, not going to be able to get more than one of that, which kind of sucks ass. It doesn't say it here, but I heard a lot of people on Twitter were very fucking pissed off about nothing on Twitter's Twitter. Yeah, so overall thoughts, these opinions, it's the screw up to the ass. Some people are cool with that. Others are very, very upset about it. Real old school, long time Animal Crossing fans I've seen on Twitter talk about this shit. Even places on Reddit, even fucking A-Chan, they were extremely heated and debating about it. And some of them were okay with that. Others... They had a bit of a problem that they're not going to get five, six Nintendo Switches unless they're very, very fucking rich and they're wealthy in real life. Then they'll be able to do it. Or Nintendo Switch Lights. Maybe able to get 10 or 12 and that's like 200000 not 200000 dollars like two grand or something. Not everybody has money like that. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, overall thoughts, using opinions. Ugh. That really, really sucks. You're only going to be able to use one freaking island. That's it. There it is. Up to eight players can reside on one island. Four residents on the same island can play together simultaneously in the system. That's a damn fucking shame there. Some people probably wanted to make more than one island, so they kind of got screwed over there by the time. This is one of the most dumbest fucking things I've seen ever, man. I don't know if this is just going on in Japan or all the other countries for Nintendo have. Man, it says random. Nintendo's selling an empty boxes of Animal Crossing editions for the Switch. Why the fuck would you even want that? You're not even getting the console. That's a fucking stupid-ass... Very, very bad tactics, but I got a good credit. Credits do good. Ryan Craddock from um, Nintendo Life, so shout out to him. If you've been anywhere near the internet over the past few hours, imagine you've already seen the recently announced Animal Crossing themed Switch console. Isn't that just the loveliest thing you've ever seen? Anyways, if you can't afford the latest model or want to pretend that you have one without having to pay for it, Nintendo seemingly has you covered. Oh, yeah, it's an official Japanese site. I was right. Nintendo's offering a replica without a replica box without anything inside from 550 yen, approximately four pounds in the UK British money, five pounds in US currency, or five dollars. As we suddenly been placed inside a weird alternative IKEA base universe. <laughs> I like I put this on article together. Shout out to this guys. funny shit. You've <clears throat> you even have to assemble this thing yourself when it arrives. Thankfully, Nintendo. Provides instructions. So there goes a the little box there. You guys can watch it. Look at that. Uh, marvel it. Gaze. Worship the fuck out of it if you're Animal Crossing. Man, since I don't give a fuck about Animal Crossing. So it doesn't matter to me. I still want to talk about this though. Still very interesting shit. Kind of a rip off too in my opinion. At first you might find yourself wondering why on earth. Or what on earth has possessed Nintendo to do such a thing. But it does actually make quite a lot of sense. For collectors owning print size or pint size or pristine boxes to limited edition consoles is a must check just check the ebay to see how many empty boxes get sold <clears throat> every day so why not cash in on that nintendo actually did something very similar to splatoon 2 in 27 i don't remember that that was only three years ago okay let's face it we'll all pr pretty much buy anything with a nintendo logo on it and nintendo knows it we should note that this is the only box option that has only been out for Japan so far. Yeah, it's only exclusive for Japan. So I was not shocked about that. Let's move on. Nintendo even says that the replica box will have any will not have any warranty or info of barcodes on it, nor will it contain the any of the leaf sets or leaflets found inside of the real thing. Japanese fans will also be able to buy the console's Joy-Con Joy-Cons and docks separately, which makes this considerable sense. What a world we live in, eh? <laughs> Fuck that. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. That is a fucking ripoff scan. I feel bad for a lot of the Japanese Nintendo um, fans that are out there. They're going to get financially, well, not financially fucked over. It's extremely cheap, but still. That's so fucking stupid. Why in the hell would you want to? You might as well pay three, four hundred dollars. I don't know how much that is in yen. Only like six or eight hundred yen, maybe. I don't know. I'm not an expert in mathematics, but I can see that shit happening. Since, you know, Nintendo Japan, they have that whole fucking country, like, completely hypnotized because uh, they get bombarded by advertisement way more than the U.S. does, believe it or not. But it's some real fun shit because it's a bunch of cute anime bitches. And sometimes just restaurants in general, too. Yeah, so that's a little bit of a shame. You hardcore Animal Crossing fans that wanted an Amiibo or wanted the, that limited edition Switch console, you're fucked. You can't get it, unfortunately. 
So it says Apex Legend shows off season four trailer and his new trailer. This comes from Erica Bent from Slash Gear. I looked at the trailer, it was pretty decent. I was gonna react to it, but unfortunately I had a lot of copyright music, so I'm not gonna be reacting to it now because I already saw it. I'm still gonna be reacting at Doom Eternal thing, even though I wasn't like a hardcore fan of Doom. I do love the freaking crazy ass Mortal Kombat looking shit that's in there. Get to slice up demons and rip fucking heads off and all that. It's fucking badass. It's hardcore badass shit. I will admit that. So it says Apex Legend Season 4 is nearly upon us. And following the new season's launch trailer, Respawn has <coughs> excuse me, released a gameplay trailer to give us a taste of what is to expect. There's still lots of tons of information out there of Season 4 out there, but we'll be updating <coughs> update the landing tomorrow. We expect to learn a new season soon. With that in mind, think that think of this gameplay as something of an appetizer to tomorrow's patch of notes. And it was a link there if you want to watch it. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but you guys can get the gist of what this whole article is based off of. As we already know, that Season 4 has been a name Assimilation. By the folks over at Respawn, the season will introduce Revenant as a newest legend. And as a trailer embedded below us shows a new robotic theme skins for legends like Wrath, Lifeline, and Watson. And they'll all be available throughout Season 4's Battle Pass. I don't know if it's any longer than that. If it is, I'm not going to be able to read the whole thing. Oh yeah, I'm only going to read this middle part and that's it. We'll also have some changes with the world's edge map, which will have now a massive planet harvester in the center. Excuse me. We'll also see planet harvester in the trailer, and Respawn notes that its red beam can be seen from anywhere on the world's edge. Expect some big fights to play with the planet harvester, and it sounds like this... It'll be the map's new central place of interest. Oh, man, they had the one... Uh, no offense to anyone that's African-American black, but they had that one Jamaican chick that's in there. She is pretty fucking badass. I've seen a little bit of Twitch streams. I don't really use Twitch that much, but once in a while I do it. I've seen a little bit of gameplay for Apex Legends last year. I know there's a few bugs and glitches I want it, but... A lot fucking better, in my opinion. I know it's going to be extremely controversial, but it's better than Fortnite. I just never gave a fuck about Fortnite. It's too fucking cringy. I know there's a big competitive scene for it. It makes Twitch streamers a little shitload of money. I just don't fucking care for it. It's annoying to me. I'd rather play some more Xbox Legend shit than Fortnite, in my personal opinion. Anyways, yeah, long story short. Oh, God, the voice acting is beautiful. A lot of the freaking new weapons that you get in that game looks fucking badass as hell. Amazing. I'm going to play the hell out of that if I had the game, but I don't. But if I ever do get it eventually, Season 4 pass, if I have enough money for that, I'll totally. Fucking play that shit in my own time. Anyways, um, that's all I got to say for now, and I'm out of here. If there wasn't no copyright music in there, I probably would have reacted to it. But anyways, links in the description box down below to the full trailer if you want to see it yourself. So, freaking amazing ass. Freaking the story and narration and the lore for this game. Fucking phenomenal. I love it. So that pretty much wraps up the video, and I'm out of here. Links in the description box down below to all three of the articles I read and the video I didn't react to. And that's it. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, and as always... Otaku Zaniki Komori is out there. I will see you when I see you guys today. Have a good night wherever the universe is out there. Stay tuned more future content on the channel, including video game industry news, anime manga news, internet news, and wraps up the video. Peace out. I'm Alex Sauerkraut. Ladies and goodbye. I'll see you on the flip side. Take it easy. I'm going to mount. See you guys soon. Later.